Hello friends, in this video, we will be discussing about prenatal development. What are the stages, what are the changes that occurs from the conception to the birth? The major issues, how that affects our development are the part of this video. Generally, we will be talk talking from the two perspectives. That is biological perspective as well as psychological perspective. However, the basic idea behind this is a psychological perspective. But as you know, psychology is not an isolated field. It has collaboration with various other disciplines. So in this process, the biological perspective, how that individual develops, Post fertilization, what are the stages? What are the developmental aspects that comes into focus? The, we'll be discussing weeks, weeks wise, the developmental process. So let us begin with prenatal development, that is a part of BA second year syllabus. So prenatal development means the developmental period that is from conception to birth. Any prenatal development refers to the process in which after conception the embryo develops into zygote then into a baby and finally into a child. And I want to make it very clear it is the majority of contents are in this video are taken from the www.ehd.org. You also can refer there. Everything is clearly given. This is a very wonderful website. What development is? Human life begins with the fertilization of egg by sperm. You can see in my previous video, biological factors of human development. There it is clearly shown how the sperm fertilize an egg. The period from the time of fertilization to birth is called prenatal development or prenatal period. Generally, prenatal period is of 9 lunar calendar months or 40 weeks or 280 days. Let us start. The fertilized single cell is called a pair, which means combination or mutual formation. Approximately 24 to 30 hours after fertilization, the zygote completes its first cell division. It's a very wonderful phenomenon. Then one cell splits into two, two into four, and so on and so forth. The process of the cell division is very rapid at this stage. Out of these divided cells, the cell fast develops and divides. And out of these, some becomes reproductive cells and some takes the shape of body cells. And you know, the body cells are responsible for development of formation of your muscles, your tissues, your bones, your other body organs, your heart and everything and other parts and other organs of your human body. These cells multiply very fast and forms a a gift of nature we call as a baby. Now, the zygote, you know, carries 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 total chromosomes. That represents the unique first addition of new individuals complete genetic blueprint. Why it is? It is a master plan which resides in the a molecule called DNA. And they contain the instructions. What DNA contains? The instructions or it is a program for the development of the entire body. How that body will take shape. And how, what are the color of your eyes, your hair, or your what is the texture of your skin? These all instructions are contained in the DNA. So what DNA molecules? They resemble a twisted ladder. A ladder which has been twisted. The or we call it a double helix. So, your uh, beautiful eyes is a gift of your mother or father. And 
these are instructions which are already been in the dna or interesting fact is if we could uncoil all of the dna that is double helix within an adults 100 trillion cells approximately it would extend over 63 billion miles it is very difficult to understand now let's make an analogy and that is this distance reaches from the earth to the sun and back 340 times yani yeah. if we uncoil all the dna and make a single strand that strand will be so much larger that from earth to sun it will move 340 times very interesting fact someone has uh, uncoiled it 3 to 4 days after fertilization the dividing cells of the embryo assumes a spherical shape a bowl shape after traveling down the uterine tube the embryo embeds itself into the inner wall of the mother's uterus which is called the implantation here the life begins life starts by third week the brain divides into three primary sections called the forebrain midbrain and hindbrain simultaneously the development of the respiratory and digestive system also take place the heart begins beating three weeks and one day after the fertilization and the circulatory system is the first body system to achieve a fully functional state so it is very important to know that after three weeks and one day our brain that is sorry it our that heart begins beating and which will beat till you live the moment it stops your reservation is confirmed so uh, it is very important and the first body system over and over again you can say that that achieve its first functional state is your circulatory system prior to other system you call it the digestive system or uh, nervous system and, uh, and all that before that the circulatory system is the first system that achieves this fully functional state between third and fourth week the body plan emerges what is the master plan that starts emerging that starts beautifying itself into a in wonderful individual as the brain the spinal cord and heart of the embryo can be easily identified that plan comes into manifestation the heart beats about 1 1 3 times per minute during this development the heart will beat approximately 540 lakh times before birth and or 320 crore times over the course of an 80 year life span it's a very uh, rough estimate During this period, upper and lower limb development begins with the appearance of the limb buds by fifth week. This limb buds means that limbs uh, starts to appear. Here, very wonderful thing is the skin of the individual is uh, very transparent because it is made up of only one cell, and the internal organs can be very easily seen. that is the because uh, skin is transparent the what the functioning is going inside the fetal developmental process is it can be easily identified and seen and the head is at this stage about 1/3 of the embryo's total size within fourth and fifth weeks the brain continues its rapid growth and divides into five distinct sections the cerebral hemisphere appears becoming the largest part of the brain the cerebral hemispheres control what does control the higher order higher thinking processes which controls the thought learning memory speech vision hearing voluntary movements and problem solving etc etc the kidneys appear by fifth week the embryo begins to make spontaneous and reflexive movements reflexive movements means when you you can test when you take your hands spontaneously in front of someone else face that individual automatically close its eyes that is the reflexive movement such type movements starts developing by sixth week the blood cell formation is underway in the liver where lymphocytes are now present which are the white blood cells and they are key part of the immune system of human body by six and a half weeks the elbows are distinct the beautiful elbows you have that develops during at the 6 and 1/2 weeks after the fertilization and the fingers begins to separate and hands movements can be seen so if you when you are moving your hands you are shaking your hands with someone you are 
applying lipstick at your nails you must visualize that these develops developed through the uh, prenatal development period when you were 6 and a half weeks old the hiccups have been observed by seventh week and legs movements can now be seen or this at seventh week and the fourth chamber heart is almost complete your heart is now fully functional and it is now complete with its four chambers by seven and a half weeks the retina of the eye can be easily seen the pigmentation and eyelids begins a period of rapid growth this is means here the eyelids begins to develop at the eighth week the brain become more complex already it was a complex it becomes more complex and now half of the body is total embryos weight means 50% of the embryos weight constituted by the brain and 50% by the other body organs so brain is so important this is called i already discussed cephalocaudal development although there is no air in the uterus it's a very wonderful thing but still the embryo survives but the embryo displays intermittent intermittent breathing motion by eighth week by eighth week the outer skin which was very transparent becomes a multi layered membrane and losing most of its transparency and this week marks the end of the embryonic period the embryo now possesses more than 90% of the structures found in adults by the eighth week embryo has developed almost all the structures which are found in a adult and that comes the fetal period continues until birth by ninth week thumb sucking begins the thumb sucking you love to suck when you are a young baby that that process began by the ninth week after fertilization and the fetus can swallow amniotic fluid in which you are playing within your mother's womb that is amniotic fluid the liquid and begins to distinguish as a male or female so by the ninth week it is very easy to identify by the various techniques that baby is either a beautiful daughter or a wonderful son by 11th week the nose and the lips are completely formed where you apply to the lipsticks or you wear nose rings or you do some more sorts of things with these these two wonderful organs the body parts they developed during the 11th week of the development gender dependent development differences appear for the first time here why for instance female fetuses the small daughters exhibit jaw movement more frequently than the males so this is this was known as gender dependent developmental differences this means without looking at the genitals it through the process of looking at the jaw movement it can be identified that the baby is a beautiful daughter or a wonderful son from 19th week the fetal movements breathing activity and heart rate begins to follow daily cycles and that is known as circadian rhythms and you will see when you are very proud of your hair you give different shape different size you grow long you use very different sort of colors and everything you care for your you use your shampoo conditioner serum etc all these things you use on your head these wonderful things known as hair they begin to grow on this scalp in the 20th week only so prior to these 20 weeks you are purely bald there is no hair on your head so these things which you cherish most they are the gift of your mother in the 20th week of your prenatal development by 21st to 22nd week the lungs gain some ability to breathe they gain some ability to breathe but there is no still there is no air in the um, uh, i mean to say womb or uterus so that they gains only ability to breathe they don't start breathing by 24th week the eyelids reopen and the fetus exhibits a blink startle response a very beautiful thing blitz blink startle response this reaction is to sudden loud noises typically develops earlier in the female fetuses in comparison to male fetuses here also you can observe that the eyelid reopening also develops prior to male fetus here it can be uh, gender differences in the development by 26th week the eyes start producing tears when you got hit by your father or your mother or, or someone else there's two liquids drops the liquid drops drop from your eyes that are known tears that are the gift that is your sometime an emotional response happiness tears and all of the 26th week the fetus appears less wrinkled and additional fat deposits form beneath the skin fat plays a vital role in maintaining body temperature 
and storing energy after the birth. By 28th week, the fetus can distinguish between high and low pitch sounds. By 30th week, breathing movements are more common and occur 30 to 40 percent of the time in an average fetus. At 35th week, the fetus has a firm hand grasp. Fetal exposure to various substances appears to affect flavor preferences after birth. For example, if some mother consumed masala dosa during pregnancy, then the upcoming child showed a preference for the masala dosa taste after birth. So it is a so what thing you are getting interested in if you try like sour taste or sweet taste or bitter taste, whatever you like, that is the consequences of what your mother consumed during the during the fetal development period when you are in the safe environment of 100 degree Fahrenheit in your mother's womb. So your, your taste are subset of your mother's sub taste when she was carrying you. So you must be very, very thankful to your mother for your taste. And the fetus initiates flavor that now fetal development is complete almost by releasing large amount of hormone called estrogen and thus begins the transition from, transition from fetus to newborn and uh, newborn and from fertilization to birth and beyond human development is dynamic continuous and complex process new research about this fascinating process shows the vital impact of fetal development on lifelong health means the process of fetal development what, what is how and what that developed during this process have its large impact throughout the life. So it is very important to take care of the fetal developmental process during that pregnancy period so that the lifelong process will be beautiful, easy and qualitative. The period before birth has started to be understood during which the developing baby receives many structures and learns various skills that are necessary for survival after the birth. Dear friends, it was our Prenatal development, these are the books and websites where I have taken from my references. So our next lecture will be determinants of prenatal development. And dear friends, if you have any doubt, any comment or any suggestion you want to share with me, you can share on my email varmasujit at the rate of yahoo.com. I will improve and inculcate this in my next video. However, thank you for watching this video once again.